Hello everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How is things going today, guys? Hope you've been drawing and, you know, keeping up with art talent. Okay, I want to do another vehicle drawing. This one's a Magnum GT2. I just recently just saw a picture of this and thought, man, I have got to draw this. It looks so freaking awesome. I don't know where it's from, what it is, but hey, I like the mystery. Ooh, just zoom in a bit. Hide that wire. Right. So I'm just going to do a block sheep to start off with. It's a relatively simple vehicle to draw, but it's different. I think this is like a custom car, maybe, someone designed. Okay, so I've just done this rectangle shape. I mean, you can measure it if you want. I mean, this one is six at the top, and I've done four and a half in the end just to give it a perspective kind of touch. But I mean, just draw the shapes. I mean, is that measuring everything and stuff? It gets far too complicated. You, you can do it if it helps you and stuff, but practice the shapes, man. Tell me the shapes. Okay. It's got this little bubble top here. Like so. The front. The front has got this thick edge on it. Uh, so I saw like a V shape in this in the center. This looks like a vent. I'll put some more once uh, I do this picture I'll put some uh, details about this vehicle if I can find it in the description. So I wanna know what this is this vehicle because it doesn't look street legal. So this must be a commercial car for some reason. I don't know. So it's just all these rough shapes. You'll see more when I ink it. So it's got this edge here at the front, which I've just drawn from that block. And then the front sticks out like a wide shape like that. It looks like the handlebars of a motorbike. Like them be the handles and it comes down in the centre. Okay. Then. The centre bit here comes down and the back wheel is covered up a little bit. I'm guessing this is like a random vehicle from the 60s or something, so I'll we'll probably find it. It's got a line there, vents. See, pedal, the wheel, wheel. Okay, let's ink this. So I'm trying to, so I can see some more of it. Right. So this is the vents on the front, here. See. There's a vent here. Do a smooth line down the end. Okay, this is the inside of the vent. Just 
remember if when you do the inside, it's the same line. As the others. There's just a thin line for this one. Then, so I'm just doing the dome wrong where the passenger would sit. Passenger, the driver, sorry. Don't forget the passenger seat. And it has these vents on the side. Lines have got into it. And for the vents, I'm just going to do some cross hatching. Now for the wheels. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the block shading. Just around emphasizing some of these shapes. Just like so. So just curl it round. I'm going to get this thinner, so I'm going to put a point here. Raise the end. So I'm making this lower section a lot darker than the top section although it's the same colour naturally but I'm making it a little darker just to emphasise the shadow curling this up all these different shapes and that there we are then once I've done some of the shading like that. I might go into a grey uh, pen. I wonder actually if a blender would work for this pen. So I might try the blender. It's just a Copic blender. So it's just got to go on it to mix up inks. So yeah, it works. So I'll just go over where I have the black lines on the inside. a bit of a darker edge, push on the grill there. Like so. So I'm probably going to move a time lapse and just continue this pattern.
Okay, so I think I'll finish it there, guys. As you can see, I continued the shapes just around here, the block shading. Then went over with a blender, and it works quite well with this pen. I've got a Fiber Castell small pen. And some other permanent markers I've got, it doesn't work very well, but this one seemed to go pretty well. And my blender's just like a Copic marker blender. You get it usually in packs and sets and stuff like that, but you can buy them separately. So it's just uh, for the darker areas and that. Yeah, uh, and just on the edges, just to flick it across. Okay, and I added the felt tip pen on the outside, which was just a cheap felt tip pens, nothing fancy. Anyway, th this has been my video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with another video quite soon.